Oh, hey, look, it's the Persona 3 protagonist. Three years ago, Masuda and I were friends, devoted ourselves to the fighting order to get the threat of the cl uh, collapse. The bond in the press's memory, I gained for another to do, having grieved my heart, I haven't, I haven't faded to this day. Fighting is not our first option, but I'd be more reassured with you there. We have a general idea of where it was taken, the Inaba area, where there were reports of suspected shadow activity last year. Okay, I'll meet up with you at the actual location. Are you heading directly there? You never change. Let me know if you need anything and I'll make the arrangements. Protein, that's all. <laughs> oh. What? No, it's better I don't ask. I'll send you the precise location later. Sorry to call when you just returned from a trip, but I'm relying on your assistance. You went to a lot of trouble to create the Shadow Operatives. I won't do anything to tarnish the name. I'll see you there. Shadow Operatives organization I'm part of. Yeah, there's way more people. Like, some of the silhouettes, you can say, they're like the Persona 3 cast. But, like, there, there's way more silhouettes here than the actual, like, Persona 3 cast. Especially, we are, like, one man down. Uh, from the Persona 3 game. So like, there's, there's, she's got to find other Persona users. Our giant task force comprised of the Kyuju group and the police. Officially, we don't, like, do not exist. Or main mission to deal shadow to the cases and the police are incapable of dealing with. Uh, to do our objectives to prevent the minimize of the, 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 the damage caused by shadows. Yada yada yada. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. I'm assuming myself. And even member blind to the shadow operators has Persona no uh, knowledge about them. Masuru fully dedicated himself to prevent Kyuju tainted legacy from falling to the wrong hands. <coughs> that is her. Now the shared duty of all of us in the group. I noticed that I've unconsciously formed my hand into a fist. I have an email uh, from Suru giving me the details of meeting location as usual. So you just uh, thoroughly plan plan this out. A, sm a smile appeared on my face. I'll continue to use the skill and the strength I've been honing. I'll commit every fiber I'm needing to fulfill the duty I've been giving. I could I couldn't ask for more. All right. I am very close to a point where I need to delete some of these saves. Like I, I, I would assume like, which every char any character that's um, that's had the to be continued thing, it will be continued. I don't need to keep these save files. At least that's what I'm hoping. All right, main menu type. Let's do the Akihiko training. Get a feel of how he plays. Uh, okay, he go. There we go. Dude, I love Akihiko's persona. Ooh, this is not bad. Hmm, this is nice. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Yeah. Sorry, but I won't lose. I wish you good luck. All right. Yeah, pretty fast punch. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay. Nice. Okay, he go attacks really fast. Okay. All right, that's the light attack. I want to. I want to. I want to keep in mind. That's the light attack too. Okay. What's the heavy one? 
Oh! Jesus! Okay! How, how far is the range on this thing? Okay, that's... That can basically... That's just like... That's... Manipulates gravity and just pulls the enemy closer to you. I love it. Okay, how about this? Alright, it doesn't do anything different when you jump and do the heavy one. Alright, okay, that's fine. Alright, how about this? Wait, what? Is this a... Is this a grab? I'm not sure what this does. Okay. Alright, so, like, no matter what, it does the same thing to this one. Okay. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right, how about this? All right, hold on. Huh. Cyclone Uppercut, Thunder Fist, Earthbreaker. Uh. Wrong one. Alright, hold on. Alright, that's the burst. Yeah, that's the burst. Alright, cool. I think I got it. Let's see the combo. Okay. What is this? Hold on. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, so my oh, so, so my attack has like a shocking move now. Okay. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. I like it. All right. Wrong one. I accidentally did it too soon. Akahiko is not a fast, uh, fast attacker. He doesn't have a lot of range either. All right, that's fine. And her pers his persona breaks very easily. All right, try the instant kill, and then we're all right here. <laughs> Excuse me. What the? What the what and what and what was that? <laughs> Alright, uh so I think the best way to use Uncle Hiko's thing is to like 
do the gravity and uh... Yeah, Akahigo doesn't need to be fast because because of the like how how pers how his persona can basically pull enemy closer to him. Yeah, yeah, not bad. I like it. Yeah. Okay. Why? Why? Why am I keep doing the main screen thing? All right. Okay. Cool. I got it. The same day afternoon. I read you knew about earlier than I planned. There's a lot of time to kill before I needed to be at the meeting. You know, to get a feel of the town and what's going on, decided to walk around a bit. From the looks of it, an ordinary uh, countryside town. I can't believe that people think the level 4 shadow related case occurred here last year. As far as I can tell, is level 4, does level 4 mean like the world almost ended? Because if there's like, level 4 should be the highest level one, otherwise um, you're wrong. Uh, as far as I can tell, there's different. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any dis uh, discrepancies uh, going on right now. Looks like uh, that unit named the Lambdas isn't running amok here either. As soon as I uh, stray from the main street a bit, as the uh, mountains and fields, as far as I can see, the air is clear and traffic is pretty light. So the town has uh, has that going for it. This could be a great place to uh, to go run early in the morning. Oh, he's at the station. I'm ready for uh, evening to come while exploring as much of the town as I can. My cake flounders in the wind as I shadow box and jog uh, the meeting area. Uh, intersection outskirt of this town called the shopping district. Meeting up in the rural area like it's a bit tricky situation. Since the shadow operatives do not officially exist, we need uh, to draw as little attention uh, to our mission as possible. Hopefully we can quickly join and uh, be on our way that the uh, residents don't take a notice of a bunch of outsiders assembling their sleepy town. Unfortunately, when I arrive at the meeting place, Musuru and the others are nowhere to Something be seen. Happened, I doubt she'd run into any trouble she couldn't handle, though. Could it be that I'm uh, the wrong place? There aren't any tower buildings blocking my view, so I look in every direction. The only thing uh, obstructing my view is a mountain of garbage that looks like it might be a scrapyard or junkyard. Uh, to do, I could, I may as well uh, be delegated and head over just to make sure. Enter the area full of a kind of junk. Cars and house, uh, household appliances, large and small, pile on the small artificial mountain. I test my footing and begin climbing in the stack of trash. Looking now, I spot a black, long black limousine, the completely out of place in this tiny town. I came to a realization of the sign. Of course, they'd stand out no matter where they were, so they could only park here. Two of my friends are standing by a limousine, the woman uh, decked out in fur coat, and the mechanical girl is Masuru and Igus. Right, be right before I call them out, Igus uh, does something bizarre. She extends her right arm towards the TV screen in front of her and... Igus' hand passes right through the screen. Her steel fingers aren't like uh, breaking the TV screen, they're definitely going inside it. Uh, to do connecting rings of white uh, light rippling force uh, where she exerted it's her hand. The same as mine. It's hard to say definitively since this is my first encounter with it, but I believe this reading is from a personality module. Does that mean our retrieval target is inside the TV? I don't understand uh, how or why, but it seems that people can enter the TV. Is that the case? It could be perfect place to hide stolen cargo. Um, makes things easier. Uh, Two of them look up surprised. 
I leap to a mountain of trash and I'm in front of you them. Didn't show up at the rendezvous point, so I went looking and found you here. This whole TV thing is pretty interesting. Nakahiko, what on earth are you wearing? Just what were you doing overseas? <clears throat> Didn't I tell you that I was on a training expedition? Don't tell me you came here from the airport like that. Does the concept of keeping a low profile mean nothing to you? I take a glance at Misuru, I can tell that she's summoning up her uh, coldest stare. This clothing allows you to have much better mobility, but I don't have... Like, how is that much better mobility? You are literally wearing like a cape and the two guns. Like, maybe you're wearing your pants? Like, wouldn't you have like, m better mobility if you just take off the cape and just like, be bare chested everywhere? Like, if you were talking about mobility, I don't see how the cape is actually helping you here. You need to listen to my explanations. I believe we have lost the right to complain about that. Glancing at the Masuru's clothes once again, I can't help but sign. Uh, since Agus has already voiced what I wanted to say, I decided not to make it make a comeback. Masuru simply shakes her head and signed back at me. Seriously, it's what happens when you grow up in a wealthy family, sheltered from the lives that normal people live. I slam my left fist into my right palm. Agus' uh, sister unit, Labrys, she's apparently inside the TV, uh, located in the Oscars part of the country or town. I gotta wonder what else does uh, to be waiting uh, for us inside. That TV, right? What are we waiting for? Still the same, Akihiko. We don't know the situation inside yet, and we'll need a secure means of getting out. So what? Uh, we want to get this Labrys back. Someone has to go inside, right? Well, that's... Mr. at a loss for words. I know that I'm voicing my opinion more forceful than she used to, but it's what I have to do. I know Mr. well enough to sense that she needs someone to uh, to prod, prod her into action. Wanting to exert control over every situation is a commendable trait. When you search situations, waiting doesn't allow you to seize any more control. It also gives your opponents more time to prepare. To eject a plane to throw her into a TV in this town. If we sit on our hands, it's possible we'll be put in serious danger. I lock my eyes with Susuru and take a step towards We're her. Different from how we used to be. We made the choice to fight shadows as professionals. That's why I traveled around the world and trained harder than ever. And now that something's actually come up, you're hesitating? We agreed to do this. I'm ready to stake my life on the mission. Three years ago, I had said that it was my duty to help the fight, but looking back then now, I know a lot of it was just for, for kicks. Seeing myself defend, uh, definitely become stronger and experience all the personal growth was incredible. Becoming stronger felt like satisfying more deep desire to achieve me. If I uh, died giving uh, giving my all against a really powerful opponent, I didn't really mind uh, the thought of going out all like it, like that either. I was honestly fighting on myself more than anything else. But now something had changed inside me. I want uh, I wander around the world with something in the back of my mind constantly knocking at me. Something about not having a grasp of some part of myself. I know what I, I know that I want power, the power to protect others. That feeling has always been there. There's still something else though, something different. A few seconds silence pass and the eyes narrow. Her eyes are filled with a st uh, steely determination. Alright. Wait right here. I need to go make a phone call first. Okay. Make it quick. I wonder who else like in the Persona 3 is in on the Shadow Operators. They might all be, but um, honestly, I don't I don't think they're all going to be. Masuru heads towards the long uh, limousine with a very smile. Turn my gaze towards the most uh, to do pro pro uh, legal down the TVs. I uh, reach out towards the screen. My finger sinks into exactly the same as Agus did. My fists are ready for action. Then my uh, excitement bells which in me action. Renew situation feels from my fingertips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're skipping this. When I open, oh, you are just in the gym. When I open my eyes, good. The first thing I can see is a high ceiling. 
I get to my feet and look around. Basketball hoops, uh, grounded lines, white tapes, fold the chairs, stacked high to the is air. This a gym? What I'm seeing now is matching or expected to be seen. My memory is cracked under the TV, which was through an Argus. What's the, uh, inside the t is this what's in inside the, the TV? Then it hits me. This isn't reality. Everything looks exactly real, but I sense of our presence nearby. I breathe myself inside the uh, Ollie Quiet Gym. Uh, I'm the one here. I must be cautious. I'm done. I suddenly realized Masuru and Aga should be here too. I'm alone, yeah. I came to the TV with me, but I know where to be seen. I need some water. <laughs> 